Hello everyone, welcome to Redneck Ways. How's everybody out there in YouTube land? I hope everybody said fine and dandy. Not doing too awful bad guys here in old Kentucky. It's about 70 degrees here today guys here in Kentucky on this Sunday afternoon. So, and I, with the humidity it's about 80. So it's a little stuffy so I do apologize for running the air conditioner. I hope y'all can hear real good. I hope it ain't bothering you. Today, guys, um, we are going to work on something a little bit newer than what we usually work on or look at. Um, it's a 1980 radio and record player combo uh, made in Britain um, called a Prince Sound. Now, this one's not called Prince Sound. This is called something else. So... I don't know if they sold it over here in the United States with a different name because it's called uh, True Tone. This one's called True Tone, but when I looked it up, it uh, it said it was made in Britain, 1980, and it's called it was named a Prince Prince Sound, P R I N Z Prince Sound. There's a little look at it. And like I said, it's got a record player and everything on it. And, uh, at the top here, this comes off. And you have a 33 and a 45 record player. Uh, it's it is AC and DC. You can use either. I noticed it probably had a fancy looking plate up here, which is no longer there anymore. The glue wore off. Here's a closer look. Turn the light on here. It's an AM FM. The antenna's missing. I think we got one around here somewhere, though. Uh, here's where you turn it to AC, and then over here to DC. Your volume and all that. Here's your record player, 3345. Uh, the little, it's got a little tiny arm on it, and it does have a needle. Um, it don't weigh much at all. The little thing for the 45s fell off. Surprised that's still there actually. Um, the the battery door is gone, and um, this was uh, buy as is, and as you see, somebody clipped the wire, the uh, plug off. So I don't know what's wrong with it, guys. So what do you think? Should we just put a plug on it? and uh, let her rip or what I guess what we're going to do um, we can put it on the bariac and bring it up slow and see what we're going to do see if it shorts out or whatever with the dim bulb so let's get a plug on it and get it plugged in alrighty guys got y'all up on the overhead view there Let's see here. There's a plug. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. It's had a great weekend so far. Let me see. All right, make sure I was in the camera there. Huh. Wonder what was wrong with it while they cut the plug off. It's a hundred and seventeen volts. That's what's supposed to go through it. Oh, 
that goes too long. See what it does. Put it in. Let's see where the on and off is here. It's on and off, loud. We've got it over on AC tone. I guess it, yeah, it's got a built-in speaker. Here is the AM, FM, and phone. And then here's tuning, which the tuner don't work. The, uh, something going on with the dial string. Seems like it, every radio it gets like that. But I didn't, I wouldn't expect it out of this one where it'd been a little bit newer. That's kind of odd. I hear something in there, kind of rubbing. Maybe we can fix it. If we can get the radio play and everything. Let's give it some juice, guys. Let's turn it on. It's on. Let's crank her up a little bit here. Give her some voltage. So far. So far, no shorts in our dim bulb. We're at about 60. Out of 50. Work to 50. I don't smell anything yet. I don't smell nothing burning. Nothing burning yet. Let's crank it up. I think I'll let it hold here at 70 for a little while. We're actually getting some here. Let's go ahead and crank it on up. Because we're not getting anything on our dim bulb. Alright, we're at 110. And if we could turn the dial, I say I think it'd work. Let's put it on our phone. Forty-five kind of works when you give it a I don't hear anything coming through the needle though. Maybe a little. Let's turn it off here. Let's see if thirty-three works. Well, I mean, it just doesn't seem like nothing's working here. Alright, let's turn it off. Turn that record player. Let's turn it back to FM. Let's hook an antenna to it and see what it does. Well, it really didn't do nothing. Oh, okay. It ain't very loud. But it is playing. Uh oh, it went the antenna. Let me hook the antenna up here, guys. You might be able to hear a little bit here. Let 
doubt it. Very quiet. So, let's go and do it, guys. Let's open her up. See what we can do. See if we can make it any better. Because it's a cute little radio, and I like how that record player is. I mean, it don't, you know, it's small. It's, uh, it don't take up no room at all. It'd be nice if we can get to play. And when it, you put the lid on it, I mean, it's just very, I mean, compact. Very, no, very nice. I like it. So hopefully we'll get this one playing, guys. So, let me turn it down. Let me turn it, turn it off, unplug it. Flip it over here, and we'll start taking her apart. See what's going on. All right, guys. I noticed uh, the two front uh, screws are already loose or broke. I think they're broke. I don't know why. I don't know if somebody's already tried to get in here or what. But they don't look like they've been taken out. They they just got broke off their post. So we're going to take these out in the front of it. Looks like we got some. Looks like we got some rust here. Definitely a rusty situation in here. Uh, I still don't see where it's made, even though the internet said it was made in Great Britain. I haven't. Found anything to back it up yet? I was kind of hoping to see the belt because I think the belt's bad on this. Ultralatics. We got a bunch of these ultralatics here. We got a 470 microfarad. I don't know how many boats. to look a little bit deeper. We'll spray this tuning pot here. Get these connectors a little bit cleaner. It definitely seemed like it needed cleaned a little bit. Sometimes this mechanic in the can works. Then we need to see what's wrong with that dial. We'll spray them off.
seems like it's made pretty good. Alright, let's see. What this doll doing here? It's not broke. See what's going on with that dial screen. Here's the bottom of it, guys. Still have to figure out, see what's really what's wrong with the dial. It ain't, it isn't broken. There we go. It was just. Stretch back over here. Without breaking that little piece of plastic. You guys see? No. Try, try to get this back over here on this little piece of plastic, guys. It's supposed to go here. About breaking the plastic. Dial string fixed pretty quick. Spray this. 
down to. So let's go ahead and put this back in. That was easy. It was just, I guess over time it just, I don't know, <laughs> really. I just pulled on a little bit, came apart, started working. back in here guys get a couple screws back in it Everything's back in good tight. I dropped one of the screws to the floor. I'll have to find it later with the magnet. So now look here. There it is. There's the screw. There's the screw. Still one in the floor though. We'll put this back here on the end. I don't know if you can see the dial there, but watch this. It's working. It's working. Let's spray this uh, pot again. volume pot. I don't think I can get in it. A little, I wish I could get in it a little bit better, but we may have to try to take it out of there if this don't work and clean it. So maybe have to drill a hole in it. I think this thing just set for a while. With, um, with how the uh, tuning was locked in, I think it has been set for a long time. Work that knob in a little bit. Now we'll just kind of set the bottom back on for now. set like that for time being guys that way when we plug it in we don't gotta worry about getting electrocuted and I'm gonna put it back on here I will give it about five minutes let uh, whatever liquids dry and I'll be back all right guys let's plug it in turn it on 
see what it does now. We should be able to change stations now. Let's get the antenna. I'm going to have to come up with an antenna for it. I don't know if I got any old radios around here that don't work. Like, take the antenna and on. It's got one of those ones that you, all you have to do is just pop it on there. It's real stiff. Um, can we move this little ball here? There it is. No? Huh. I was hoping it would come out a little bit farther. But that's all we got right there. We'll hook the antenna to it. It's playing, but it could be louder. You guys hear that? B97. Let's see if FM works for AM. But you better be willing to give. AM picks up real good. It's loud. That much is obvious. Dan in Long Island. What's going on, Dan? Well, to touch I, I listen to you guys all the time. Love the show. Um, you, uh, you, you know. If you made it loud. That's all we that's as loud as FM goes for some reason.
to a We Do Back. All music, I want it. The power. The power makes weird noise. It's got static. You hear it static in the earphone. Or not your phone, but the record player. So we need to get into there, get inside there, and see what's going on with the record player. Because if you put it over on phone and it's giving a hiss and nothing's really going on with the record player so let's see what we can do see what we can do with that guys but the, re the radio seems to be doing pretty good am's real good fm i mean you can hear it it just ain't as loud but sometimes where i've got it where i sprayed it with this it might be still damp or something. You never know about it. It might one day come out here tomorrow or after a while and it'll be as loud as ever. So, Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. It's got a nice little carrying handle here. Carry it like that. So let's see how a person is supposed to get into the record player. I don't think we get into it over here in the back. So, what's going on here? It's got a switch here. Oh, that's for the DC. It turns it to AC, DC, I guess. I'm, I'm about betting this Ultra Lady is shot. So, we need to go ahead and change that out. The 47 microfarad. I should have one of those in stock. It's got, let's get ready to say, it's got a safety pin. It almost looks like a safety pin. What in the world? Somebody use a safety pin to make that? Doesn't this look like a safety pin, guys? Did somebody do that on purpose or was it the way it was made? See what I'm talking about? Did somebody bend it like that? Is that a hack? I don't think it is. Is it it way it bends down there in the bottom? I think that's why I think the factory used a safety pin. <laughs> I don't exactly know what that does. We need to get inside there, see what that belt looks like. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty weird. In it. Probably needs a little oil. But that hissing is probably this ultralatic here. So we need to get that out. Let's see if we can take this screw and loosen it up. So we can get it out. Side. We gotta get that loose so we can get that out. Let's turn it back over. See if we can get this apart from here. This has to pop off of here. I'll probably never see it again. Back on it. Oh, I see it. It went over in the very corner. There's no clip. Does it just pop off your record? 
this, we hate that primer break it. There's no clip on it though. This might be one of those throwaways. Yeah, it ain't coming off. It ain't coming off that way. I guess the whole thing comes from the bottom. So let's take these screws out. I guess it all comes right here. I still don't see where it's made. Use wizard batteries. Model MID six zero two two A O seven. You would think it would say made in China. This is. That's probably the little transformer. Oh, the power. Probably the transformer for the record player, maybe. I already tried to get that one. It's kind of hard to work on newer objects. I mean, this ain't super new. It's 1980s, but it's not like working on a 1950s. We're about to get a, a socket for that one, guys. Let's see if this fits it. No, too small. Alrighty, guys. Let's see me in a little bit here. Uh, change this ultralytic, and we'll check the old one when we take it out. See if, see if it was even bad. Something was going on for sure. Cause I was getting there's a, a hum. So usually that's a dead indicator. A for sure indicator that. Ultra legs we have it. Sometimes it's not. So let's see how they got this bugger in here. Uh, this is the minus. Does it got the plus? There's plus. On this side over here. So we mark that. So I don't forget. That's the plus side. <clears throat> now, how does that person get it out? I guess it's... I don't know how they got this thing soldered in here. weird how they got it. That's the resistor. Get 
that loose. Guys, I'm gonna get this out and I'll be back and we'll test it. Alright guys, we got it all in. Got us a new ultraletic put in there. Got everything, the resistor back in. Everything back in, ready to go. Alright guys, we've got it all back together. So let me get you up on Sky Vision and um, let's see if it works alrighty let's give it some power we're still, yeah we're still plugged in turn it on over on AM right, no shorts so far turn it on Let's try All FM right. again. Hi. FM's working, it just ain't loud. Uh, see if the record player works, guys. Here we go. We're going to turn over on phono. Well, it's working better than what it did, but it's still kind of draggish. Not really hearing anything from the needle. Oh. The needle broke. That's what was. We did all that, and the needle broke, guys. It sure did. Somebody had it soldered in there. So, uh, let me see. I don't know if I can solder it back. I could try to solder it back in there. Let me try. Let me try that. Let me try to solder it back in. I don't have no other needles right now. Alright guys, um, this is about as good as I can get. I've soldered it back in. But the little rubber tip right here, that's, I think, the pickup. And it's almost gone. So, we can try it. 
But I don't think it's going to work. Needs another cartridge. I need to order about three or four of these. All right. Let's see if it works. All right. Let's put the monkeys on. Yeah. And we'll see what she does. We need a 33. That worked. Well, it did. What happened? Oh, when you move it over, it kicks it off. How interesting. I'm not hearing anything, guys. This thing's all over the place. I just wonder if that amp's working at all. Let me get a, let me get a screwdriver. Then we'll touch up in here. I don't think it's working at all. It's making an awful racket. Well, it looks like we're going to have to get a cartridge, guys, for this one. And work on the arm and the whole ordeal here. Because we're not getting anything at all. This is stone cold dead, this cartridge is. I haven't seen one this dead in a long time. And it just don't want to sit there. It's all wibble wobbly, wore out. So, so that is not its uh, good points. <laughs> That's not the good thing of this radio. But I guess it was fun working on it. And like I said, I've got to order a bunch of cartridges, right? And maybe get one for this and tinker some more on it one day. Get it playing. I don't think it'll take much. Again, I could be totally wrong. Let me try to get the radio to work. You can't have favoritism towards one person over another, especially when you're an officer corps. You're going to be the supervisor or the leader of of the enlisted corps. And well, so they have to make sure that you have consistency. The AM FM works, and guys. In the same fashion. So here we go. And not so where did you go? 1980s you go Britain. Britain. So the Officer Canada School is Combo Record Player AM FM. Um, hosted at the Coast Guard Academy. In Hope Europe. you all have fun oh, watching. So how long like I said, I think a cartridge would do this long, good. This one is, is just, I think than there's nothing there. The and uh, the arm needs some work. Alright guys, hope you all had uh, 
hope you guys had a great weekend and you guys have a great monday and until the next one guys i'll see you right here redneck ways bye guys